Okay, friends, it's time for trail. Good boy, say hi to Loki. <laughs> so excited, right, Kiko? Day one of the Pinhoti Trail. We stayed last night at the Pinhoti Outdoor Center, which they're awesome. If uh, you need a place to stay before trail, we got a ride from them to trail. And uh, now we're getting started. Logie is getting his backpack on, and there's the sign. First view of the day, and it is day one on the Pinhoti Trail. <gasps> Corey, are you excited? No. No. <laughs> it's beautiful. Here we are, first blaze. First blaze of the Pinoti Trail. <gasps> so excited. So excited. I love these mountains. This cute little cabin on top of Flag Mountain. First climb of the trail was awesome. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. You know, if we weren't trying to hike 600 miles, I'd say let's hang out for a little bit. Cute little cabin you can stay at on flag. Oh my goodness. Could have a oh my God, did we find a pot of gold? <gasps> nope. Nope. Well, what do you think, Kiko? It's a cool area. Okay, we're doing super good day one. We've already filtered water. I already found a tick on me. Yay! <laughs> Gory's back there with Loki. And Loki and Kiko seem to be a little okay today, which is awesome. Oh yeah, let's go. It is a good spot, Kiko. Wow, this trail is already amazing me. So beautiful. Day one lunch spot. First road walk of the The trail. wildlife of the Pinhoti Trail. Cows. Kiko, what do you think? Kiko does not know what to think of cows. Oh. Hi, cows. We just walked by this cute, cute farm, and there was an older couple who lived there, and we started talking to them for a little bit. And then Kiko, of course, starts barking at their cows. And then this little baby calf starts running up towards Kiko, like, what are you barking at? And he's just like standing there. How cute is that? Beautiful butterflies. Ow, this is so beautiful. Hi, Corey. Hi. Yes, that is a mailbox you see there. Let's see what's inside of it. Ah, a little signing thing. Little purple flowers. Okay, day one we did just over 12 miles. Four-ish were road walks. There's Kiko over there. Hi, buddy. Um, and then uh, I just fed Kiko and he ate it all, so he was hungry. And then I made myself some cheesy potato soup because I treated myself to some yummy snacks for the first five days. So excited. It is day two of the Pinhoti Trail. There's Kiko here. Chewing on a stick, We're waiting for Corey to be ready for camp. We're gonna do maybe 17 miles today, 12 of which are road walk. So that should be fun. Um, yeah, slept pretty well actually. I went to bed at like seven and woke up at 6.30, so it was ideal. The dog is retired, but now we are ready for the day. It's like someone left out a row of flowers blossoms for us all over the ground. I think I've flailed and fallen over enough with these snowshoes. It kind of has the idea. Fair. So today started off with a uphill. Yeah, we're tired. Yeah. Very tired. Mm. 
Can y'all hear that wind? The storms are coming. We can hear it. Wait a second, am I in the whites? This is very rocky. Corey opening the mailbox again to sign the trail register. What's the book? I'm ready player two. Anyone need a book? Not for me. Anyone need a spatula? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll bring it, right? All right. It'll be fine. So Corey and I weren't paying attention to the pups for a second. And next thing we know, they're playing together. This is huge. It's huge. We're friends. Okay, Kiko, are you ready for the 12 mile road walk? I'm not, I'm not ready. talking about the dogs, the dogs, the dogs. So we walk on this road and next thing we know, was it three dogs, three dogs come running towards us. And Kiko is not the best with dogs. We're working on it. And he did amazing. He, he sniffed them and we just like moved past. And he was like, okay, we're good. He didn't growl. I'm so proud of me, baby. This road walk's kind of cool. And there has been millions of dogs, millions. Every so often on this road walk, someone will roll their windows down and go, Pinote, yeah! It just makes me smile every time. Probably the scariest thing we'll do is cross this divided highway with lots of traffic. Should be fun. Look, it says Springer Mountain, 192 miles. It's been raining for the last part of the day, which is fine. I just, we're doing a 17 mile day and I feel like this last mile is taking forever. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, it is day three of the Pinote Trail. Uh, we ended up doing 6.6 .6 miles yesterday, not exactly 17, but it's okay. We are, in for another good day today. And Kiko is pooping. Perfect. There's a lot of blowdowns on this trail. And a lot of them look pretty live. Or no. recently. Huh. Look at those handsome men right here. Oh, hi. Crazy the trail erosion over the years. It has been a morning of switchbacks up this mountain. Corey, what is uh what did you find there? I found a snail shell. Woo! Yeah. That's cool. You gonna carry it all the way? Nope. <laughs> Guys, I'm having a trail's beautiful kind of moment. It's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Uh, we ended up having a beautiful day. I thought it was supposed to rain all week and the weather changed and it rained last night a little and it's been beautiful today. So oh, nice. sweet home. <laughs> yeah, that's right. True. Fields, but uh, from what I understand, the fields are also in phase. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Beautiful can spot for lunch. The climb was rough, but it's beautiful. We are soaking in the good day is while we have them because it looks like a couple storms are coming. Could be boys. Fun. The three men hiking in front of me. Being so good, all three of them. Yeah. 
Good job. Are you a good boy, Corey? Yeah. So end of day three, we're at mile 44.6, which is awesome. Tomorrow, um, we are going into town to resupply and stay at a hostel. It's supposed to be pretty bad weather, so we're hoping to kind of get out of town, get out of the trail before that. Wow. Loki. You ready, Corey? No. Day four. Tornadoes. <laughs> Potential tornado warnings. Um, so that's cool. Uh, we only have less than 14 miles today, which is good. So we're getting the early-ish, 7.45, start. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna try to book it to the road and then we're staying at a hostel tonight. It's like a creepy, scary movie. All the better, because it's real life. No scary out there. Oh, it's so beautiful. As I say, it's pretty much every video. Corey. Yeah? What are your thoughts on these switchbacks? I can see the trail right there! Why can't I go? Someone's used to New Hampshire hiking where we just go up the hills. And uh, here we got nice little switchbacks. Can you see the view? No, no, neither can I. Lucky! Coco! Yes! It smells as if this fire that happened up here recently is fresh. Wow. You can see the fire trench that they built around this fire. Wow. Oh, that's so sad to think about. It feels like a different forest, friends. I'm so excited because we didn't think we were going to get a view and we did! Oh my gosh, a view! I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Oh. It's uh, the old man moss, as Corey calls it. Yes. Yes. Time for the stream crossing! Take it go. I understand you want to get out. Let me tell you, that stream crossing felt so nice on my feet. So cool. This is how, this is how he's getting his dog across. Can y'all see that? It's bamboo. So we cool. did it. We made it to Porter's Gap! Woo!